Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Dave Wallace coming to you on my channel and this is the first story that I'm going to be sharing with you and this story has to do with uh, my greatest fear as a child and my greatest fear was attending funerals and the reason why I hated going to funerals is that um, oftentimes uh, depending who passed away, um, I would see the spirit of the deceased there at the funeral, oftentimes walking among the relatives, trying to soothe them. And it's really interesting watching um, the spirit as they're moving from person to person, um, comforting them because uh, a lot of times, it seems that uh, the people who are mourning the death of this person is aware of the presence. They feel sort of like um, there, there's a change in their behavior where they'll be crying, crying, crying. And when that spirit of the person comes and places their arm on them or to comfort them, there's a sense of relaxation where the person begins to calm down and it's very unusual um just watching that is fascinating actually so as a child i could see that going on and um, i remember a really really um scary situation developed at a funeral that I attended for a older man. Um, I'm not going to say their names uh, because uh, I want to protect their identity. But this uh, older man passed away and he was a pretty powerful person during his time, during his lifetime. But when he passed away, it looked like he wasn't ready to leave the world. And so um, throughout the funeral services, this man would be pacing up and down the aisle, going back and forth and looking very angry. And when he saw me, um, that I was aware of his presence there, he gave me a real angry look like, what you looking at? And so it frightened me, and I hid under my dad's <laughs> um, coat and kind of hide, uh, hid there for a while until I felt his presence leave. But after the funeral uh, services was done in, in the church, and um, they started wheeling his uh, casket down, um, down the aisle and down the stairs, and when he came to the hearse, the hearse doors open up and they tried to move the casket. They had six guys trying to lift this casket and couldn't budge it. It removed, it refused to move. It was just like anchored into the ground and nobody, nobody could move it. They tried, 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 and nothing could move could get him to move and so the wife came started crying and pleading with uh, pleading with the um, the casket the person that was there and for me um, trying to understand what was going on I knew that the man didn't want to go and it was him that was preventing the casket from being sl slid in finally um, the family got together and they prayed and, and 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 basically told this older man older gentleman that you know um you lived a rich life we honor you we love you and but this is part of you know the covenant that we understand that as living human beings death is normal so let go so after the family convinced this, uh, <laughs> the six people on uh, the six ball girls just lifted up the casket and slid it in. 
So these kinds of things, um, you know, the presence of spirits, especially the deceased, um, at funerals, and not only the deceased, but a lot of times um, the family members that accompany and guide the uh, the deceased person to the next world will show up, and they're there. And a lot of times they just encircle the place, and um, a lot of times these other people are part of um, the comforting um, group, uh, people that go and try and comfort the people who are grieving. So that's why I don't like going to funerals. And the uh, same thing about hospitals. Hospitals are the next topic in the next video. And Mahal for listening and sharing. <laughs> and this is Dave Wallace saying aloha.